Hey, welcome back to Smiles in the Kitchen. Listen, we're going to get cooking and started. Hopefully, I don't run out of time like I did last time. But listen, we're going to have surf and turf. We're going to have some steak, some shrimp, and we also want to have these things right here. They're stuffed scallops. And I'm going to throw those in the oven. Why? Because it's going to take 30 minutes for these to actually cook because they're frozen. So I'm going to go ahead and throw those in the oven. Did I show them to y'all? I think I did. I'm trying to rush y'all because listen, my husband's going to be home. And guess what? Dinner got to be ready. But this is what they look like, y'all. And this is the size of them. Like that, okay? And I'm just putting it in the oven for about 30 minutes. It's right at five o'clock. And that's gonna be ready by the time I'm done with everything else. So what we're gonna do now, we're gonna go ahead and get started on the steak. And I'm gonna season that very simple because when you're dealing with steak, you don't wanna put a whole lot of seasoning on it because it's gonna take away from the steak. Now ask me what kind of steak this is. I don't really know, I just see meat and I say I'm gonna get it. And then if you know how to cook steak or keep cook beef, it'll turn out great. Just don't overcook it and you have yourself some tender, okay? So let's look at this steak right quick like. And I'm going to um, season it. Can y'all see that? Can y'all see it? Can y'all see? I hope y'all can see. Can y'all see? I'm going to get it together. Hold on. Let me bend y'all down a little bit more. I know y'all neck probably hurting because I... There we go. I moved the griddle out of the way. And while that's going, there we go. Okay, so now let's go ahead and get seasoned up. I'm going to put pepper, of course, and salt. Pepper and salt, this is the... Pepper and we're gonna season both sides. Now, because it's a lot of meat for this little bitty old um, griddle, I'm gonna cook some in it first, and when the first batch get finished, then I'm gonna throw the other one in, okay? And some salt. Y'all, I almost ran out of my pink Himalayan salt, so what I did, I'm gonna use, um, I added some sea salt to this. Why? Because I like the bottle. The sea salt that I got from the other one, it, whatchamacallit, it ran out. And I'm gonna flip this over, flipping the meat over. And I will wash my hands after this, y'all. I will, I will, I will. Do I have my, there we go. And hold on, y'all, get my paper towel, because I, I really have a stigma with touching bottles after I touch raw meat. Y'all see how my fingers are, I'm trying not to <laughs> make sure I don't touch the bottle with the fingers that I touch the meat with, because we don't want to be cross-contaminating, but just doing a simple seasoning on the meat, which is salt and pepper, okay? And then I'm gonna put some rosemary on here too, okay? And make sure my heat is all the way up the way I want it because I want this pan hot. I want it hot, y'all. So what we're gonna do is get some rosemary. Put some rosemary on here. And y'all, I got these packs from Publix. They're only 95 cents. So if you don't want to get the rosemary, in the um this side look y'all see that i'm just gonna go over just like that some rosemary just a little rosemary then i'm gonna flip again and do rosemary on the other side okay here we go here we go and here we go okay and we want to rosemary on this side there we go all right, done with that, y'all. So now I'm gonna make sure I have enough olive oil. And y'all see, this is the kind of olive oil I use. And it's really good. And I'm just gonna make sure my pan is drenched in that. Yes, I am. There we go. And just as soon as it's cooking like I want it to be, then we're gonna toss this in here and we're gonna be good to go. Like I said, we're already at wet. Three minutes, y'all. Now, I'm seriously gonna be finishing with this meal before you know it. But in the meantime, while I'm waiting on this to get hot, actually, let me show y'all what the caviar looks like. Let's see here. It looks like this. I actually had it in the refrigerator because it says it's best served cold. And it's a cheap one, it's Romanoff. I got this because, you know, there's a uh, um, pianist, composer by the name of Romanoff, but this is it right here. And we're gonna try it tonight. And it was only like, what, $9.99? I'm quite sure that uh, obviously, the more you pay for it, the better it's gonna taste. But we, we're experimenting tonight, okay? But this is it right here. And this is the bottle. And I don't know if you guys know it or not, whenever you do eat caviar, you don't want to use any metallic metal spoons. You want to use either mother of pearl spoon or you can use a plastic spoon, okay? But this is what it looks like here. And I'm going to keep it in the refrigerator until it's time for us to eat. And you'll see how it looks when it's plated too, okay? 
from the thumbnail. All right. I believe, let me get this because I know this. I believe it's hot enough for me, but how do I know it's hot? The old fashioned way, a little water. Y'all hear that sizzle? That's all we need to hear right now. All right, calm yourself, calm yourself down, calm down. Nobody gonna be popping on nobody, okay? Okay, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna take, all right now, you better calm it. We're gonna take this piece right here, we're gonna lay it just like this, okay? Right there, and I'm gonna take this piece here, and I'm gonna lay it the opposite way, just like you do with shoes. And I'm gonna let that cook, and as that's cooking down, I'm actually move this to the, I think I have enough time. Yeah, we have five minutes. So I'm going to let this cook a little bit. And we're going to be good to go. And then when that's done on each side, I'm going to pull it up before it's done totally and let it rest. Because when you let it rest, it will continue cooking. Therefore, you won't overcook it. Therefore, you won't have a tough type of steak, okay? This is more, uh, I think this is around something, y'all. I told y'all, my husband, when he pick out steaks, he, he know what to pick out. But when I think of beef steak, I just pick up whatever looks nice to me, okay? But it's delicious, it's delicious. Alrighty. Now, I think I'm moving this over to the side. And we're gonna start cooking something else, y'all. Cause like I said, it's not gonna take long at all. So I'm gonna turn this eye on over here. And I'm gonna bring in the other one. And what we're gonna do, is just transfer it, okay? We're gonna bring in the shrimp. Actually, I'm gonna let you the green beans first. We're gonna do the green beans because by the time the meal is done, I want the shrimp to still be in a nice temperature when everything comes together, okay? So we're gonna do green beans first. Oh yeah, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Okay. What we're gonna do, we're gonna get some olive oil in this pan here. It's already getting hot enough for me. And then we're gonna get started. And don't forget y'all, I'm gonna put garlic on this side, okay? Make sure I tell y'all that. I'm just gonna put a little bit of garlic on this part of the steak right here, okay? Just a little, not a lot. Just spray it through. Y'all know me, I like to shake out stuff. There we go. Okay. And then I'm gonna take a little garlic and put it here as well. For the green beans, as well as add in, we're gonna add in some onions. We just put in the garlic, but now we're gonna put in some onions, okay? Let that go for a little bit. And now it's time for me to turn over the beef. This is what we're gonna do. Y'all see that? See y'all see that? Y'all see that? Exactly. So we just gonna turn that bad boy over. And it ain't gonna take long after this. Y'all see this one right here? Y'all see that? See those lines? We're turn it over. And we're gonna let that stay on for about maybe two to three minutes. I'm at 514 right now. I'm at 838. Got that going, got this going, and we get my spoon. Doing now, just breaking down the onion because we're going to actually put in our what? Green beans. And these are fresh green beans, y'all. Fresh green beans. And the fresh green beans are going to um, not take long either because you don't want to cook them to where they're limp. You still want them to have a little crunch to them, okay? And what we're going to add to this is some, of course, salt and pepper, okay? And we already got the garlic and onions. Salt and pepper, garlic and onions. Alrighty. And my green beans have already been rinsed and clipped on the ends or what have you. And now we're good to go. Ooh, I got a runaway. I got a couple of runaways. Y'all coming back. We're gonna eat y'all. Oh, y'all gonna get eaten. Yes, y'all are. Come on now. Y'all gonna get eaten. Well, maybe not y'all. That's too close to the fire. To the fire. Okay, so listen, y'all. I'm gonna 
go ahead and take out this right here. Cause like I said, you don't want to overcook. It's been about two minutes. We're good to go. And I'm gonna cover the edge of the foil and I'm gonna let it sit, okay? Next, we're gonna go ahead and put some more meat in there, okay? Back and back. Back and back. I think I can get all the way in there. I'll put this piece in there. I'm not going to overcrowd it because when you tend to overcrowd the pan, the, of course, the temperature goes down and then you're dealing with something, okay? And what we're going to do is just let these green beans cook down, okay? We have 10 minutes now, y'all. I think last time my phone cut off when I was like at 30 something minutes. I was like, oh, shut. I think I was running my mouth more than I was cooking, y'all, for real. But like I said, tonight we're having steak and we're having green beans, of course. Oh, and guess what I'm gonna put over this? I'm gonna show y'all. Green beans, we're gonna have some shrimp and we're also gonna have some stuffed scallops, okay? And some caviar, some caviar. Y'all, and I got some crackers to go with it. You can do toast, but I um I got those uh, club original crackers because it's a buttery taste. And I could I can make some toast, but I didn't want that. I mean, this is a cheap version of ca uh, cheap caviar, so I'm not trying to go all out, but it should be good. And I'm just you know tossing this and tossing this around. Now what I'm gonna do, y'all? I'm gonna flip over one of these because. These, oh, hold on, almost be gorgeous. Wanna put a little garlic on top of this side, okay? There we go. Okay, and what I'm gonna do now is flip this one off, because this one right here is a thin piece. And as you can see, it has the marks on it as well, and that's gonna turn this one too, because this is kinda thin. Turn it, I'm gonna leave that one alone a little bit because it is thicker than the other ones, okay? So let me keep turning, and then I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna top this with. I know I've already put onions in here, but I am going to actually um, put in, after it's done, some crispy onion pieces, okay? And I'll show you in a set way, okay? Show you in a set. And these two right here are gonna be ready because they're thin. Hold on, just a moment. Oh, okay. We're gonna use these. Y'all see that? It's the crispy onions and it's Golden Farms brand. It's lightly um, salted, bold flavor, no GMO, trend, no trans fat and whatnot. And you know what? These are a good snack to snack on when you want some savory, you know? Oh, that smells so good. That smells so good, but I'm gonna top it off with that, okay? Sit that to the sea dog. And I'll put some salt and pepper on this too, y'all, because you notice I have not salted and peppered these green beans yet. So let me, before I forget, let me go ahead and get these two out. Y'all see that? Y'all see that? Those lines on that? Exactly. And like I said, because we only season them just a little bit, and all I'm doing, y'all, is just putting the foil back over it. You don't even have to put it back in the... You don't have to put it in the oven or anything. You just put foil on and just let it sit and it'll finish. It will finish cooking, okay? It will finish cooking. So what I'm gonna do, since I have room over here, I'm gonna go ahead and put this little piece right here in it, okay? And we're gonna get the dough, so let me move, move this out of the way. One, two, three. Okay. So, um, I can put that there. So let me put some salt and pepper on the green beans because that's something I haven't done as of yet. Side. Salt, salt, salt. And this is a blend of sea salt and Himalayan salt, y'all. Because I just added the Himalayan salt, added the sea salt to the Himalayan salt because I was almost out of the Himalayan. And both sea salt and Himalayan are good for you. And they go a long way. It's not like you need a whole, 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 whole lot to get a season good, okay? Okay, oh yeah. Well, y'all just kind of escape. It's not like I'm cooking crab. 
a lot. So y'all gotta stay in here, green beans. We need y'all. Yes, we do. So that's what we're doing. Just cooking y'all see the beautiful onion. Okay, so y'all, what I'm gonna do here, let me go ahead and flip this one. Because it needs to be flipped right back long now. And this one right here, hold on, I'm gonna do my shake and my garlic on it. And then we're gonna get started. So this is a thinner piece, so it's gonna be ready about the same time as that one is ready, okay? All right, it's good. And like I said, when you fish some green beans, fresh green beans, which these are what they are, let me show you the bag I get them. Because I got this from Publix. It's called green beans from Publix. They're really good. Really good. It's one pound of it. And I'm right, talking the top part, but they're really good. We either eat fresh vegetables or frozen vegetables. We never, well, we haven't done canned vegetables in I don't know how long, y'all. Okay. These are ready, y'all. These are done complete. I'm going to leave these alone because they're bright green. They're not overcooked. They're, you see the, the juices at the bottom. I don't know if y'all can see that caramelization right there. They have the right uh, color on them. And like I said, they're not limp, and you don't want them to be limp. I can cook them a little longer, but I'm not. I'm going to let them sit while I'm fin finishing off the um, shrimp. And then guess what? We should be good to go. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to move this right here. And I'll bring this one around, okay? So we can cook our shrimp. And I'm going to get this right here because I told y'all Wolfgang Puck don't play. It's hot, y'all. It's hot. So we're going to put this on over right here. And what I'm doing, I'm going to cook the shells with the shrimp. In other words, I'm not peeling the shrimp. They already been um, deveined and clean and whatnot to a certain point. But I'm going to cook them in the shell, okay? One second. Let me get some butter. Some butter. Y'all know I like working with salted butter, okay? I love working with salted butter. And that's what I'm gonna put all this in, okay? All of that. So it's like a whole one of these or whatnot. That's going before I forget. Let me go ahead and take this steak up, because it's ready already. Like I said, you don't have to do a whole lot. Steak is ready, y'all. That is ready. Let me get this out of the way. What I do, y'all, I put my whole thing here in the oven to cool off. That way I won't make a mistake and touch that bag before I think that old. <laughs> y'all will see me in here doing a Michael Jackson dance with my hand. <laughs> Ain't nobody got time for that. So that's why we put that in the oven. Now we're gonna add to this butter. Can y'all see that? We're gonna add to this butter some garlic. Cause we're about to cook some shrimp, y'all. And we're gonna add, you already know. And normally I put my onions in first because y'all know if you put garlic in first, it has a tendency to burn quicker. So because I have enough butter in here, I went ahead and put my um, garlic in there. But I'm gonna go ahead and add right away using the same spoon I use for um, the green beans. I'm gonna use, go ahead and put the onions in. Now we're just gonna let that stir in. And you already know since I did the garlic and I have the onions in here, I'm gonna put a little salt and pepper in this as well. And I have some Old Bay seasoning that y'all saw me cooking with last time. And it was the garlic and herb Old Bay seasoning, this right here. Y'all see that? This is what I'm working with again today. I'm gonna put this on and I'm just gonna shake that in, okay? Because this is basically like a surf and turf, okay? I want a good flavor in the old bay to bring it on out. And I think I may put a few um, shakes of pepper flakes in it. My daughter is not a fan of, y'all yeah, looking for my pepper flakes. Who took my pepper flakes? Did anybody? Oh, here they are, they're on the other side. Here we go. I use this regular old great value. Pepper flakes, okay? I'm just gonna add a little bit. I figured if I add it in now, then as the heat heats up the butter, it will infuse, the heat will infuse with the butter sauce, okay? So I don't have to worry about that. So we got that going on. And 
I'm trying to make sure I ain't forgetting nothing, okay? I ain't gonna forget nothing. Now it's time for a little salt and pepper. Now I don't have to put a whole lot of salt because remember I'm using salted butter. So I'm gonna put some salt. You can see salt and Himalayan salt mix. And then I'm gonna add my cracked black pepper, okay? And y'all know shrimp. It don't take all day to cook shrimp. You just want to change colors, okay? Pink, as soon as you see it turn pink, give it about a minute or two and you're done. Because guess what? When you turn the heat off of it, it's going to continue to do what? To cook. Let me check on my, um... yeah, these are ready. Let me take this out of the oven, y'all. I'm taking out these uh, stuffed scallops because they're ready. Y'all see that? They're ready, so I'm gonna sit this right, right here. I know I said 30 minutes, but my oven gets hotter than other ovens, y'all. And I know that's ready. That's ready. So now what we're gonna do is add in, dang on it. Did I get some lemons? But y'all, here are the shrimp right here. They already been rinsed and whatnot, whatnot. They said, smell good, which means what? They don't already smell like seafood, they don't stink. Anytime you cook seafood, whether it's fish or shrimp or lobster, if those bad boys are smelling fishy, you need to put them down. That means they are overdue, expired. I remember one time we purchased some um, shrimp and you know, we weren't thinking about it. We just brought them home and I don't know if those were frozen, but we brought them home, new things thawed out and whatnot. I was like, what smell like ammonia? Cause it smelled like ammonia, y'all. I said, what does that smell like ammonia? And I don't clean with ammonia. I normally use either bleach or Lysol or something of that nature, right? Something with a citrus smell. Or if it's bleach, if I really want it to smell like it's sanitizing here, right? And um, I smell ammonia. I said, what's that ammonia smell? And I kept stirring the shrimp up like I'm doing now. And I got doing like this, you know, like you learn a chemistry class, a science class. I said, oh my God, that's these shrimp smell like ammonia. I was like, oh, uh-uh. You ain't finna kill this whole great family over here. We got a whole lot of work to do. So honey, I've tossed all that, but I never knew that when you cook bad shrimp or whatever, a bad fish, it'll have an ammonia smell to it. And that was years ago. So y'all, I always, whenever we buy shrimp or y'all see how it's turning pink, Whenever we buy shrimp or um, fish or anything dealing with seafood, I'm always like a, a dog, a hound dog, sniffing it out, y'all. Always. But y'all, seriously, y'all, everything is done. This is this is done. And y'all see, I don't know, like, I don't eat on camera. I, maybe I'll start doing that, but I'm, I don't see myself as a mukbang. And whenever I eat my food, y'all, we eat as a family. And then even if we're not eating as a family, I'm eating with my husband like date day style or date night style. So my husband, I like to spend that time with him. So that's why I haven't been eating the food now. On other things, when I may cook some simple stuff, I may eat on those. But for right now, y'all, I'm just cooking for y'all. And this one right here is very simple. Shrimp, steak, green beans, stuffed scallops, and we're gonna have some caviar and some crackers. And these are the crackers I got. I didn't get the toast kind of like toast but I just got these and I got some other crackers too but I'm gonna do these because these are like a light butter um, these are original and I'll eat it on that it's not like it's you know gonna mess up the whole thing and not to mention this caviar costs $9.99 okay so um, this is just an experience and if, it, if we want to see what it tastes like with toast or what have you I can throw some in the oven but for right now we're good. Let me show y'all what, what this is looking like right now. Oh, that's hot. I was not expecting that butter to drip on my hand, but that's hot. Y'all see that? Mmm. Mmm, y'all, that's so good. Mmm. Oh, my goodness. All right. I don't know who's going to be the star, the shrimp, or the steak. But somebody about to have their showcase. Yes, they are. Yes, they are. But, yeah, I'm done. It's right at 530, y'all. And y'all, let's see what the hours plate and show y'all for the thumbnail. But that's what we're gonna have, shrimp. And here's the steak. Here's the steak right here. And y'all see, when you let it sit, y'all see all the juices right here? It's gonna continue cooking. Cause what happens when you cook steak and you don't let it sit, and I didn't cut out on purpose 
don't slice through it. But if you cook a steak and you take it off and you try to slice it right away, you're gonna lose all your juices. All your juices will lose, right? You, you know what I mean? In this case, since that steak, I already had them to cut it for me. I did lose a little juice, but I, it's still sucking in and keeping in the rest of the juices that it has. And you know, we just did a, a simple seasoning with that. So y'all, we're done. The green beans are done. I'm gonna coat them with, with these onion things right here. Y'all see that? Actually, I'm gonna throw some over there right now. And then when I plate tonight, when we get ready to eat, then y'all will see the finished product. But listen, y'all, I appreciate y'all. I'm gonna turn these shrimp off, because listen, ain't nobody got time to be eating no rubbery shrimp. And that sauce is deep dog and delicious. But listen, let me turn y'all towards me. Listen, y'all see I'm swimming. Look like I'm really doing something in the kitchen, right? Not really, but a little bit. But listen, thank y'all so much for tuning in and watching me cook again on Smiles in the Kitchen. And um, listen, if you have some ideas of how to cook or add other seasonings, do that, do that, do that. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you should subscribe, write down in the comment section that you subscribe. And if you have a YouTube channel, I will subscribe back to you from all three of my other channels, okay? So you'll get three subscriptions versus your one you're giving me, okay? So again, thanks for the support. I'll talk to y'all soon. Again, we have a steak and what else? Some shrimp and some green beans and some stuffed scallops and some caviar and crackers tonight, y'all. Hope y'all are well. Y'all stay safe. Use your wisdom along with that faith. You're going to get through this thing and you're going to see the rainbow at the end of this storm, okay? Be blessed, stay blessed. Be blessed, stay blessed. Y'all know what's coming next. And again, thanks for checking in, okay? Talk to you soon. Y'all know what's coming next. Ciao!